So I just got like halfway through filming this video and decided that I didn't like it and that I needed to start over. <laughs> Hello you guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary and you should definitely subscribe down below. Also, if you're new here, uh, this is my third video in my wedding planning series, but my fifth video relating to like engagement, wedding, etc. So if you want to see the rest of those videos, just head back over to my channel. They're the past four videos. You'll see them immediately. Yeah, my name is Mary. I'm 20 years old. I currently work in the real estate industry and I'm getting married. <laughs> As you guys can tell by the title of this video, uh, we are talking about wedding dress shopping today. I did go wedding dress shopping. I did find my dress and I just kind of want to tell you guys all about my experience. Um, I have footage from wedding dress shopping. I'm going to show you guys the dresses that I didn't pick um, and I just kind of want to give you guys the lowdown. I had a very strange wedding dress shopping experience, I feel like, so it's not going to really be like the typical wedding dress video. I've watched a lot of these and I feel like this is gonna be nothing like those. So <laughs> I hope you're ready for it. The first time that I ever tried on a wedding dress was actually before I even got engaged. So me and my mom were headed to the mall and in our mall there's a David's Bridal and my mom was just kind of like we should go in like just to look around a little because she also knew that the engagement was coming. So we did, and I found a couple dresses that I liked, and she was like, go ask him if you can try them on. And I was like, mom, I don't think I can do that. Like, I don't even have a ring. I'm not engaged, like, is that allowed? And she was like, they won't know, like, it's fine. Just ask them if you can try it on. So I did, and they were like, yeah, sure. <laughs> it was pretty late at night, so they weren't super busy. I think I tried on three dresses while I was there. And like, it wasn't anything serious, obviously, because I wasn't even engaged yet, and I knew that this wasn't gonna be like my like wedding dress shopping experience, but it actually did help me to know what I like in a wedding dress because I didn't really know. Like I knew what I liked online, but I didn't know what I liked on my own body because I had never tried one on before. So I tried on, I think like, um, actually, I think I still have the photos, which I will insert for you. Going into this, what I had in my head was that I thought that I wanted a sweetheart neckline, either an A-line or a ball gown. I knew I liked lace. I knew that I didn't like anything like tighter fitted like a mermaid style or anything like that So I tried on a mermaid style dress just because the girl was like, you know A lot of people think they don't want one and then they try it on and they end up loving it And I was like, that's fine. I don't know what I like on my body. We'll try one on. I put it on. I hated it I'll insert the photo here. I hated it. I hated the way it looked on me. It just wasn't for me. So I knew I was correct in that I didn't want a mermaid style dress or really any like tighter fitting dresses. So then I put on a couple A-lines. Uh, two different strapless A-line dresses. Actually, I think one of them was a ball gown. I'm pretty sure one of them was a ball gown, but it wasn't like huge, so whatever. Um, they were both strapless. They were both sweetheart necklines and they both had lace on them. So they were hitting all of the right categories. Well, I put them on and I didn't like them. And I figured out that I really, really don't like the sweetheart neckline on myself. I don't. It does not look good. I'm thinking that it maybe only flatters people with like bigger chests, which I don't have. That's kind of my thought process, but I just knew that I did not like the sweetheart neckline on me. And I also was like, I don't, I'm not really feeling the straplessness either. And like, I mean, most of the time when you get a strapless dress, it's a sweetheart neckline. So those kind of go hand in hand. I really didn't like either of those on me. I didn't think it looked good. I was able to rule those out. And then I tried on a dress that had, um, what are those called? Like cap sleeves? I don't even know. But I really liked that. And I liked the neckline of that one. And I liked the back of it too. The back of it was really pretty. But I didn't like love any of those dresses. And David's Bridal, unfortunately, just doesn't have a great selection. Their price point is amazing. So if you're like balling on a budget, that's great. And David's Bridal is a wonderful place to go for that. But they just don't have a great selection. So I knew I probably wasn't going to go back there when I like actually wanted to go wedding dress shopping. But it did give me some groundwork to work off of going into my next bridal appointment. After we had gone into David's Bridal, I had been kind of snooping around online a little bit. And there's a dress online that I absolutely fell in love with. Um, I found it because one of my absolute favorite YouTubers actually got married in it. It was her wedding dress and it is the uh, Martina Liana 1137. The YouTuber is Jacqueline Brooke. She is one of my all-time favorite YouTubers and I actually found her through her wedding planning videos and I am obsessed with her dress. She looked so good in it and it like hit all of my marks. It was not a sweetheart neckline. It had like that like v-neck which I thought was really flattering. Uh, it had lace. It was an a-line. It had straps. Like it it was just a gorgeous dress, and every time I would go look at it, I'd be like, I can see myself in this dress. Like, this is my dream 
wedding dress. So I found a shop near me that had it and I called and I made an appointment for October <laughs> to go wedding dress shopping. I thought that that would give me plenty of time. Um, if you don't know, I'm getting married in December of 2023. I really wanted to give myself plenty of time though because like I said, I thought it was going to take me a very long time to find the dress that I actually loved um, and I wanted to make sure there was plenty of time to actually get it in because you usually have to order a dress and then to get all my alterations and all that stuff. I just didn't want to be pressed for time. The only problem <laughs> is that I did ask when I called to make the appointment how much it is and I really thought it was gonna be reasonable because it's from 2019 and it's now 2022 and so I figured like okay it's a couple years old like it's probably gonna be reasonably priced um they told me it was $3,600 and that's like initially that's like before alterations before tax before all of that stuff and I was like whoa that's way more than I wanted to spend so I was a little bit nervous about that but I wasn't too worried because I was kind of like well I can make it work in our budget, it'll be tight, but I can make it work. And also, there's no guarantee that I'll even like this dress on me. Like, I could go put it on and absolutely hate it, and then we can just go, like, to a lower price point and look at other dresses. So that was the plan. We had set the date for October to go dress shopping, and that's what we were going to do. Well then, on Friday, August 19th, I was scrolling through Facebook, and I came across an ad for another dress shop near us, and it was an ad for their end of summer sale, and it was like a little pop-up sale, and it was happening that Sunday. So I saw it on Friday night, and it was happening Sunday morning at 9 a.m. I read on there that it was like a first come, first serve type deal, and so I texted my mom, Zach's mom, and my aunt, and I was like, hey, what are you guys doing on Sunday? Like, we should just go to the sale and just see. Like, it couldn't hurt anything. And all of the dresses were going to be between $300 and $700. And I was like, you know, who knows? Maybe I'll find something and then I'll get a great deal on a dress. And if not, like, we waste a couple hours. But, you know, for that price, like, let's go. So luckily they were all able to make it, which was great. I didn't know how busy it was going to be. So I was like, let's get there at 8. It started at 9 and I was like, let's get there at 8, an hour early, we'll stand in line and wait. Like, you know, if it's first come, first serve, I just want to make sure that we get there at a good time. And I'm really glad we did. We were fifth in line and as soon as we got in line, the line got so long down the sidewalk. Like, I turned around and it was just like people all the way down the sidewalk and I was like, holy crap, when did that happen? So the deal was they could only take four brides in at a time, four brides and their parties. You only got 30 minutes. <laughs> And you could only try on four dresses and these are all off the rack by the way And when I when I heard that or actually we read it on a sheet of paper outside the store. We were like Oh my gosh, this is gonna be insane and it was like it was nothing like what I thought dress shopping was gonna be like because normally when you make an appointment you have like an hour and a half and they like really pamper you and you know usually like get a free drink or you know whatever and it's like a very slow time that you just get to like spend with your friends and family whatever like it's this was very different because you only had 30 minutes and you had to move we were the fifth people in we go in and they like rush us to the back and I already have the picture of the Martina Liana 1137 pulled up on my phone ready to show this girl and be like this is the dress I want to try on right now because I didn't know what they were selling that day and what they weren't like if you could order or if it was strictly off the rack I didn't know so I showed it to her and she was like okay so that's not one of the ones that we have available right now unfortunately because these are all off the rack dresses so we can't get you in that one but let's go look at the rack and see if there you know is something similar we're looking through my size and there's really not a whole lot there because I think the four girls before me were like in my size <laughs> so they had all of the dresses so there was like not a whole lot there but we grabbed four um that I thought looked okay and I really didn't have great hopes to be honest um and we go in to the dressing room as I'm looking at two of the four dresses my hopes are getting better like in the dressing room because I can like see them better and I'm thinking okay these could definitely be contenders I put on the first dress and I'm like shocked <laughs> because it looks almost identical to this Martina Liana dress. Like, I'm not kidding. The differences are so small and minute that like most people looking at it would probably be like, no, that's the same dress, like identical. So I put it on and she like clips it up cause it's like literally like two or three sizes too big for me. <laughs> like it was big and we walk out and all three <laughs> of the girls, my mom, Zach's mom and my aunt were like, shook because they liked it so much and I loved it a lot so I'm like okay 
Okay, this is a contender. This is for sure a contender. Let's put on the second one. So I go back and I take the one that I liked, like the second best, and I put that one on. And this one was really, really pretty because it had like the lace detail that I like on it a lot. Like the, I don't know, like leaves almost that looked like it. Like I liked it so much. And it had long sleeves. It was an A-line. It was so pretty. I thought it like looked very winter-esque, like because of the long sleeves and they were poofy and it was just so pretty. And so I walked out. They all thought it was really pretty too but they were like honestly though like it's great but it really doesn't compare to the first one and i was like yeah you're right so we went back in and i took it off and i tried on the third dress and the third dress was really pretty but i just knew immediately that it was not the one the straps were too thick i just didn't love the detail on it like and it was just like immediately a no so i mean really we were between these first two dresses this first one which looked exactly like my dream dress like the dress i had been like obsessing over for months and then this other dress that i thought was also really pretty totally different style than i was thinking of but like felt very wintry so i'm standing there and i'm like can i put on the first one again like, do we have time? And she was like, yeah, we have seven minutes. <laughs> you can put on the first one again. I was like, seven minutes. So I put on the first one again and I come out and I'm like, this is crazy, guys. Like, this is the first dress I've ever tried on. It looks identical to the one I've been obsessing over online. And then my aunt and my mom start to cry. All three of them were in agreement. Like, they were all like, dude, this dress is like perfect for you. It's like literally so good it looks exactly like winter like they all were like it just like looks perfect for christmas and winter and y'all we asked how much it was three hundred dollars thirty six hundred dollars three hundred dollars almost identical how does that even happen so all three of them were like dude get it like get it and i knew like i knew in my heart of hearts that this was it because i loved it so much because it was so similar to that dress i loved the way it was on my body it was weird because of the way that it fits because it was too big because it is off the rack so it did not fit me like a glove it's like i'm swimming in it it's huge but i could get enough of an idea of how it looked that i knew it would be great and for 300 dollars, like what are the odds of something like that happening obviously there's going to be some added expenses because like i'm going to have to get it altered more drastically than I probably would have if I got one that fit me better. I mean, the alterations will be a couple hundred dollars. That's still way cheaper than the other dress was going to be off the rack, which still would have had been altered. I only tried on three dresses, and the very first one I put on ended up being my dress. So yeah, that was my wedding dress shopping experience. It was pretty insane. Right, buddy? Do you like my wedding dress? Do you think it's pretty? Do you think I picked the right dress? You? Yeah. Yeah, he likes it. <laughs> I'm really excited for you guys to see my dress. It sucks because the first thing I wanted to do was show Zach. I wanted to come home and show Zach so badly. He's my best friend and we share everything with each other. And I even told him before, I was like, I honestly wish you could come with me because I feel like the two of us would have so much fun wedding dress shopping together. But obviously... I want it to be a surprise for him. Um, let me know about your wedding dress shopping experience and how you found your dress and how you knew it was your dress. Like, do you think you could make a decision about your wedding dress in 30 minutes? <laughs> I didn't think I could, but I did. And I have not regretted it. I have the dress. I've put it on several times since then and I don't regret it at all. That's everything for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more wedding planning content, go check out my channel. I will be posting more wedding planning content as well. So turn on my post notifications so that you can see when I upload a new video. Uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Instagram always finds out everything first. They found out when I said yes to the dress because I posted about it almost immediately. So if you want like real-time updates definitely go follow me over there that is everything that i have for you guys thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye